We, we, we interrupt our program with a special bulletin. This is how government then is immoral. This organization that calls itself the government then only knows how to solve problems through one way, a singular way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus the plurality of nonviolent solutions that you and I already share. Normally I'm, normally I'm super for violence, but it's not as nice as you might think sometimes. Right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're a kid. I mean, that's just, bad parenting. That's where you're learning it from. Yeah, I'm, a, yeah, I'm learning it from my mom. It just, she, has, uh, she has all these stupid... Well, what happened with her dad? Exactly. Right? That's a horrible I'm, upbringing that you're going to be there. I don't have a dad. I'm sorry to bring that up. I don't have a dad. All right. Yeah, yeah you, you were born... It was a natural conception. A, yes. I'm, yeah, an immaculate conception. I'm yeah, a, yeah. I'm like Jesus. Yes, you are. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. They brought uh, mirth and uh, chicken fingers and... Uh, mirth and chicken fingers. Oh, oh that was great, right? And, and some two gold. Yeah, it was great. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. So what do you think about... Well, so what is government? Government has a monopoly on the services you and I want, right? I want liquor, ABC has a monopoly on that. I want to deliver mail, the post office has a monopoly on first class mail, right? So that's what government is, a monopoly on the services you and I want, but we don't have the economic freedom to cancel or unsubscribe as you can from a real business. Like a couple years ago, Netflix tried to increase the price overnight, people were like, fuck that, cancel, you know, unsubscribe, go to Hulu. Yeah, you can go anywhere else, right? Yeah. But what government does has a monopoly, you can't go anywhere else, because it's also legal for you to compete entrepreneurially, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, what do you think about abolishing these monopolies, abolishing government altogether? Exactly. You need, you add, I think, to a certain extent, we need the government for like, we need for like roads and shit. You know, for like. That's also a monopoly. That's also a monopoly. But I actually went for a road construction. Well, I actually work for a road construction company. My person self does. But. So businesses will build roads. Businesses can build roads, uh, but government doesn't build them. You exactly. just said it. We work. For, <laughs> we work for them. We work for them. I mean, com the complete. I think. The complete abolishment might not be a, a wonderful idea, but you can like it definitely needs to be decreased, certainly. Well, 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 well but, but you just said so. Government also has a monopoly of roads, right? Yes. And it's not government that builds them; it's businesses, people like you. Yes. Who will build the roads after government is abolished? People like you. There's lots of people. Yes, there's right. lots of people like that. I mean, we work for where we work for the state who gets all their stuff. Right. We're like we actually have jobs a lot that will be. We'll have all the permits and everything for them, and then all of a sudden, the permits will expire, and we have to wait two or three weeks, months, years to get back to the job. Right. Because of the EPA and everything else. And then those permits continue to get costlier and costlier as the years go on, right? Exactly, uh, yes. Government's not sustainable. Where can we get some money? Oh, we'll, we'll extort you. We'll give you. That's what permits are permission for you to do what you want with your own property. Exactly. Right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we you now have permission, right? To do what you want with your own hands and work and labor. We had. Uh, we had a pipe go out right below our house and we had to get it replaced and everything and they came down and replaced it and we told them hey you can just take all the soil that you have because we have really nice soil yeah we yeah, take all the soil nice. and just dump it right back on our property because it's ours it's topsoil it's yeah nice. they said that as soon as the shovel touches it it's considered contaminated whoa and take it all to the land. whoa stop what as soon as the shovel or anything touches it it's considered contaminated and you got to take it to the land it's your land exactly physically actually literally our land yeah all right what well for the reason why you need to abolish it. So government will say, uh, you'll say, well, like, and, and, and without government, you'll have a real free society based on consent, a real market respect for property rights, real market for respect for self-ownership. Under government, they'll say, well, sorry, that's not your house. Did you pay your property taxes? Oh, yes. Sorry, that's not your land. Well, we, we need it for eminent domain. Yes. Sorry, that's not your body. We just made chicken illegal, <laughs> right? Yeah. I know, and that's a horrible thing to consider, but that's what I mean, right? So when you abolish and remove government, you have the market replace all the services contractually. Now yes. you are in charge. Consumer's king. Yes. Right? I enjoy that idea. Yes. I enjoy the idea of being king. Yeah. I'm more minorities in my water park. Right. <laughs> you can have your community if you want to do it like that, perfectly fine. Yes. At least now you have the freedom of association and disassociation, right? Yes. You can get there with all the other South Park characters with there, all the other awesome. uh, Cartmans. That'll be a cool, awesome society, That'd right? Be awesome society. It'd be only Cartmans. Amazing. I mean, really right. awesome. Right. And no one will ever bother you. Finally, have the free, have the freedom to be left alone if you want it. No more minorities in my water park. And then they wouldn't want you in their community anyways. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, you see my costume. It's back. not like they're rushing to be in there. Exactly. <laughs> they're they're living lavishly with their own, never having to mess with a Carmen exactly. themselves, right? Yes. Right. <laughs> so can we count you in, uh, Carmen? Uh, help help fight against the state. We can try. All right, man. Exactly. I'm part of a non-political organization called Liberate RVA has nothing to do with politics, politicians, or government. We're trying to create our own community here outside of government and one day grow large enough to 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 replace it. Yes. Right? Yes. Right? And then finally have a real peace of society, real respect for private property rights. Yes. Right? 
Nice, man. I'm 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 Cal. Cal. <laughs> yeah, Cal. Otherwise known as uh, Rick Sanchez. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking squanchy, man. You're looking great. I feel squanchy. Yeah. Good. Okay. <laughs> yes, I feel squanchy. Good man. Uh, Cut here on Lama Lama Dub Dub. There we go. <laughs> awesome man. You have a great con man. You, are, you have a great time. You too, too man. Stay squatchy. I love your cat. Oh, thank you, buddy. I love your cat. <laughs>